One winter afternoon, a puppy was trapped in the snow. It was obvious that he was too weak to escape, helpless and lonely. Many people pass by, and some feel sorry for the puppy, but it is not enough to stop and help him. Many others did not notice him at all. Then a goose appeared. We don't know where she came from, but she walked down the street and noticed the poor frozen puppy. At first she just stopped to look at the poor dog, as if deciding what to do. Then she went to the puppy with firm determination. People around them stopped to see what would happen, and they were startled by what happened before them. The goose approached the dog, then sat down beside him and covered him with her wings. The puppy did not move for a long time, either because it was unbelievable or just because it was too cold, but after a few minutes it finally opened its eyes and buried its nose in the warm feathers of its new friend. The puppy and the goose have been sitting together for a long time. Many people are tired of watching this, so they move on. But others stayed to see what happened next. One person took some photos, and these photos spread all over the internet, showing us this incredible story. Unfortunately, we don't know what happened next. Is there a bystander taking in the puppy? Or did he stay on the street? Where did the goose come from, and where did she go? The photographs capture only a brief moment between a puppy nobody cared about and a goose who showed him real sympathy and compassion on that cold day. These photos make you feel hopeful that the world has not disappeared, even if on that day, it was not a person who offered friendly support, but a goose. The fact remains that we need to be more caring and friendly to those who really need our help. The next incredible story has been circulating on the internet for a long time. It's hard to believe. It's up to you to decide whether it is true or not. This is a story told according to the protagonist's words. When my mother was young, she was in the hospital, and there was a woman with her in the ward. Her name was Natalie. She comes from the countryside, knows little about urban life, and tells many interesting things about rural life. I like listening to my mother retell these stories. Natalie's most memorable story is about a cow in their village. I often ask my mother to tell me stories about cows. My mother always sits down with a smile and starts telling stories. Natalie lived in the village all her life. Their lives are poor. Their family's greatest wish is to have a cow, but the cow is very expensive and the family can't afford it. Natalie's mother works as a nurse in a local hospital, and her salary is very low, only enough to support a family of five children. Natalie is the eldest in the family. She always helps her mother with housework and takes care of her younger brothers and sisters. Natalie's father is a tractor driver. He works almost all the time, especially during the active harvest in autumn and spring. His salary is also very small, which is used to buy clothes and household necessities, every child in the family has his own responsibilities. Natalie, as the eldest daughter, is responsible for taking care of her brothers and sisters. They don't have much food. They mainly eat vegetables grown in their own garden, and every night they talk about how well they would live if they had a cow. The cows will give them milk from which they can make sour cream, cheese and delicious tortillas, so that the family has absolutely enough food. Then they decided that they must save money to buy a cow. The whole family decided that instead of buying extra clothes, they would use the money to buy a cow. For nearly a year, my parents have been saving money, and finally they have collected the money they need. On the rest day, mom and dad go to the farm to choose their own cows. The dairy farmer promised that the cow produced good milk and the price was not very high. Natalie's parents bought the cow and took it home without hesitation. The happiness of this family is enormous. This cow is really good. She gave so much milk, enough to satisfy all the needs of their family, and seven people drank milk every day, Natalie learned how to make sour cream, cheese, delicious cheesecake and yogurt. Their tables are filled with different products produced with milk. Their families are very generous, and they are happy to entertain relatives and friends with delicious milk. Soon, their milk was in short supply, because the milk produced by their cows was of good quality, and the family decided to sell the rest of the milk in the market. 
In the morning, Natalie went into the barn, milked the cows, and then brought fresh milk into the house. She puts the quantity needed for the family day there, then bottles the rest and sells it in the market. The family began to have extra money, and they decided to save money to buy a second cow. Everything is great. The family is very happy to have such a cow. One morning, Natalie went to milk again, but the amount of milk was much less than usual. Confused Natalie went into the house and told her mother. Maybe she doesn't feel well today. Her mother replied. The main thing is that we have enough milk today, and tomorrow we can go to the market. But the next morning, there was even less milk, and Natalie's parents began to worry. What happened to their poor cow? They decided to ask the veterinarian to check whether the cow was ill. The vet came and examined the cow carefully, but found nothing wrong with her health. He just said that cows are healthy, and he doesn't know the reason for the decrease in milk. He suggested that they feed her more, which might help. In order to raise the second cow at home, they bought a special feed to improve the lactation ability of the cow. They fed her this food for a whole month, but to no avail, the amount of milk has never increased. The frustrated parents decided to invite the local shaman to perform the ceremony, because the cow might have had bad luck. They don't really believe this, but they are very desperate. The wizard came, brought some herbs which he had burned for a long time in the barn, read some spells, and then put his hand on the cow. But it didn't help, and the milk was getting less and less every day, even though the cow looked healthy. The family tried every means to find the reason for such a decrease in milk, but never found an answer. People come to their house because they can't find Natalie in the market. They really wanted to buy their milk, and they were upset when they learned that there was no more milk for sale. Parents go to the farm where they buy cows to see if other cows have changed like this. But they were told that the milk production of other cows had not dropped, and the farmers did not know what might have gone wrong with their cows. One morning, Natalie was woken up by a long howl from the barn. She opened her eyes. It must be a dream, Natalie thought. Because of constant thinking about milk, girls often dream of cows. But there was a constant howl. No, it's not a dream. What really happened in the barn? Natalie put on her jacket and rushed into the yard. Opening the barn door, Natalie was dumbfounded. Stunned by the sight before her, she hurried back to the house. The girl shook her sleeping father. The father saw his daughter's pale face and frightened eyes and hurried to the barn. But when he went in, he froze with fear too. A serpent wrapped around the corbel, clinging to the cow's breast, was eager to drink her milk. My father didn't know what to do, but stood and watched. When the snake was full, it slowly slid down from the corbel and got into a hole in the corner. So this is our answer. The snake drank all the milk in the early morning, and then crept away quietly. Father immediately repaired the hole in the barn tightly. Natalie said that for a long time she entered the barn with uneasy feelings because she was afraid that the snake would come back, but the snake obviously failed to find its hole and finally forgot the way into the barn. The milk was abundant again, and the family resumed their usual life. Natalie started going to the market again. They quickly saved money to buy a second cow, and things improved. And things improved.